What is the cap? This is a simplistic explanation to what the cap is and what role it plays in severe weather development. The cap usually develops about one to two miles up in the atmosphere. Now, what is really the cap? It's a thin layer of warmer air that will basically stop air parcels from rising higher up in the atmosphere. Now, what is an air parcel? Well, that's basically what will basically develop clouds and cumulonimbus clouds usually will develop. And eventually, once they hit that warmer area of air, which is more stable, the clouds will actually start to sink back down, which will basically go into this sort of cycle. So a lot of the time when we're during the summer or springtime, we'll have this cap in place across North Texas or anywhere in Texas or even sometimes the Central Plains, and that cap will prevent storms from developing. Now, when you go on the right side of your screen, when there's not that warmer area of air, we'll eventually have more of a trend where we're having warmer to cooler air instead of warmer to cooler to warmer air. So basically what we're looking at with no cap is that it's just from warm air to cold air, and that's what we're looking at as clouds develop. And that will help for cumulonimbus clouds to basically skyrocket and develop into thunderstorms, which can sometimes become severe. Now, taking a look at this diagram, this is a bit more of a picture that's been taken in person. This is actually a picture of the cap. This is only about 10 to 15,000 feet up in the atmosphere, and these clouds already are having these overshooting tops where that cap, cap is. That's basically going to sink any of these storm clouds from actually developing. So they'll kind of go in that cycle of clouds just kind of starting to develop. They get to their peak, develop a short shower or very weak storm, and then they'll start to kind of weaken off after that. And that's what creates that little overshooting cloud top. Now, once we have a bit more of an uncapped situation, when storm clouds actually are able to develop into the higher atmosphere, right around, let's say, 50,000 feet or so, there'll be an equilibrium point where those clouds will start to level off. And that's when we start to see those overshooting cloud tops and anvil clouds. And you can see those a lot higher up into the atmosphere and they'll eventually kind of create those overshooting cloud tops like this. If this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below for more great forecasts.